Happening today, the woman captured on video pulling out a gun and shooting into a car is due in court. That 20 year old Detroit woman claims she was defending herself and a few others, but investigators say they're not buying that story. Lauren Podell is live this morning, and Lauren, this is her first court appearance since that shooting. Well, actually, Sandra, she was arraigned a couple of weeks ago. This is going to be her first preliminary exam where really uh, both sides of this case are going to go over evidence to see if there is enough to take this case to trial. Now, that video, the surveillance video that you're going to see in a moment, a lot of eyes were on that the last several weeks, not only because it's crystal clear, but because this 20 year old was dressed as a cowgirl with a gun in her hand. But today's prelim could focus on a party that happened before. For this incident, take a look. It's back to court for 20 year old Shamika Burton, who's captured on surveillance dressed as a cowgirl, gun in hand. While her attorney doesn't deny that's his client, he claims there was a reason for her actions. She might have been acting in defense of others. It appears that uh, she wasn't the aggressor in the situation. It appears that uh, her brother was knocked out and then subsequently ran over by a car. Burton's been charged with two counts of assault with intent to murder, carrying a concealed weapon and felony firearm. Prosecutors say this crystal clear video provided by Project Greenlight Cameras was essential in tracking her down for this alleged crime and others. She has another case pending where she's accused of robbing two young ladies at gunpoint, possibly with the same weapon that was used in the crime that she's being arraigned for today. Last time Burton was in court, she couldn't hold back tears when she learned her mother was there. Today, during her preliminary exam, we may learn more about what happened before those cameras started rolling. And while that surveillance footage may benefit the prosecution, Burton's defense attorney says he has pictures of, of his own from that party that she was attending before the shooting took place at the gas station that could benefit Burton. So we will certainly have to wait and see what plays out here today in court. I will be in there. So will our cameras 9 a.m. right behind me at Frank Murphy Hall of Justice. Reporting live from downtown Detroit, Lauren Podell, Local 4 News Today.